So here we have a new 57,000 gallon corrugated steel water tank that's uh, lined with PVC. And we have a bi directional line here. So we got an 8 inch, it's an 8 inch fill, hits this check valve, and then comes up through the top up here. And then when water needs to come out, come out here at the bottom past the check valve, down and out. And out to the booster pumps that are a couple thousand feet away. And we have uh, butterfly valves, some extra ports just in case we need some water out here. There's no pressurized water here. Um, you can still run a little fire hose or hose bib. And uh, I've got a Eight inch drain over here. And we got some surface drainage uh, that's tied into our 12 inch overflow line on the other side. Um, we graded the pad so uh, any runoff from the tanks come here um, or here and it'll make it to four drains that we have around the perimeter of the water tank. We've got about six inches of base. Uh, it's like a six inch concrete slab with like a 24 inch square footing for this water tank, new water tank. And then we had an existing uh, 10,000 gallon poly tank. So we wanted to reuse it and we just manifolded it in and um, put a six inch butterfly valve as a shut off just in case if we wanted to stop using it or if we're having problems with it. And here's our uh, 12 inch overflow because we have uh, three well pumps that are running into this tank, filling this tank, and we didn't want to have any um, problems with erosion. We've had a problem with erosion when uh, one of the other tanks had overflowed and washed out like, I don't even know, a couple thousand yards of dirt from this slope and it had to be rebuilt. So now we have a uh, erosion control set up to get established again. Yeah, I washed out this whole thing over here. Um, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of repair work had to be done. Um, and that was a well pump that was running at four to 500 gallons per minute, overflowing over here down the slope. So now we got a big 12 inch, um, 12 inch HDPE corrugated line that comes from down there where it's all flat comes up where the washout area was comes up over here ties in for the overflow and this is the four inch um, fill line schedule 80 PVC fill line that goes to well number three over there we used the uh, the main line for that is a four inch HDPE, high density polyethylene. Um, so yeah, got that. The other drainage around here. So now we got the control system. We got the Weisscon drop control system up here. solar powered wireless so this thing communicates and um, on site to the well pumps and tells them to turn on and off depending on what level the float switch is at that is tied to that pump and we also have a pressure transducer inside the tank so it measures uh, water pressure as it rises in the tank it puts more pressure down on the transducer down at the bottom and then and get a mathematical equation for how much um, head pressure there is over the top and you can calculate how many feet of water is in this tank. Uh, let's see how it up.
So inside the tank, we have a bunch of float switches. 